morning. So, um, yeah. Oh, woke up this morning with a qualification beside me. Only half of my qualification. The other half was uh, unfortunately something I was unable to attend. Despite me telling it Tess Valley that I uh, needed to be on it in the beginning of January, or the end of January, sorry. I also showed them the date, and I was told, not a problem, we'll rebook you, etc. And then, lo and behold, the next week, I was on the street in Eastley. So that is an actual breach of the Human Rights Act, Article 30 and Protocol 2, the right to education. So it stopped me getting my qualification, thus stopped me getting work immediately afterwards. So once again, just like Sarah Jane, when I was removed from my home, stopping me from finishing my degree, which I could not get anywhere near because my laptop was not given to me. Although Sarah Jane felt free to, uh, to um, well, she felt free to breach my bail, but it doesn't count as a breach of bail, does it? When they come round to see you. Interesting how the law works, isn't it? Yeah. Once again, using little things in the law to try and suit what she wants to do. And the bit is that it's all criminal. And that's the best part about it. Human rights acts, are there for a reason and uh, they've been breached repeatedly particularly with technology now the other part of the course we won't discuss but I guarantee the hackers know all about it don't they yes now isn't that going to be a lot of fun I'm looking forward to this going to court now this is now a human rights violation which means it's now a human rights court isn't that going to be some fun anyway here's what I got have a look